Look, I, Adam, no, we're never going to get a sequel with that attitude. And? But we, we need a sequel. I don't need James. Uh, I don't need Jim Carrey as Robotnik. Well, maybe I, you'll get your wish and he won't come back as Robotnik. But he was fun. He, it's well, fun. he might not be able to, because uh, the way he was. I don't know. Did, did, did you did you hear the rumored casting for Jim Carrey over the last couple of weeks? Get out there, Link. If, if there's going to be if if there's going to be a sequel to Joker. They are strongly talking about Jim now taking the role instead of Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah, well, definitely, because it's Jim Carrey. But at the same time, uh, I don't even think the movie... Like, I haven't seen Joker yet, but it doesn't really set up for a sequel, does it? No, it really doesn't. No, so it's, it's, I don't know why... It's supposed to be a one-off one movie. Yes, it was designed to be a one-off, and that's how it should stay. There's no need to make a Joker sequel. Yeah, yeah, it is. okay. Um... I liked Joker, but it doesn't need a sequel. Just leave it one and done. Well, that that makes you even more violent. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so so at that point, like, don't cause, cause you kinda, it, yeah, Alex. I need to draw him out. Well, he'll he'll find it. He'll find it. Yeah. All you gotta do is let him let him get there. Because he has to feel the vibrations. There you go. You have to let the sandworm be a sandworm. All right. Oh, so so that, that's kind of my deal. Like, I will see it. I just... I wasn't already what all that hell? invested in this movie. Stupid fucking lightning was awful. Go away! Sorry. Well, sorry, what were you saying? I was yelling at the lightning. <laughs> I was yelling at the lightning Lusalfos. He got in my way. You got lost in your aggression. <laughs> That's another sick Why didn't that freaking sandworm just eat the freaking... No, I, I, I just... I wasn't as invested as everybody else with a live-action Sonic movie. I, I wanted a CG one. If I, you wanted to have Jim play him as a CG robotic, yeah, that might work. I mean, okay, yeah, I'll say yes. I, want, I would have preferred a yeah. CG Sonic movie, too. But as for what we got and what we do get... You know what? I'm glad that they, they that they at least tried a little bit, because I really thought when they showed that first design and they first, that first trailer, I was like, I was like, fuck this. They don't. Okay, just throw it and let him come to you. Yeah, let it roll. There now. Oh. Do, 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 it's like do, um, do, do, So so that that's kind of my deal. Like I I will I will check it out because you have given it a, a Gerda Rio as well as a few other friends. Like it would. From what I hear, it is pleasantly surprising. Yeah. On on what it does with the property. If if you had to ask me, like the the movie that I'm truly interested in, it is the Illumination Mario that I think is still in development. See that I so. that I know because I'm like, what are you gonna do with Mario? Mario does not lend itself. Well, to, it, it's, it's to a CG. Food. Like at it that point, it doesn't matter. It's Mario. There's no story to Mario. What I was about to say was, is that since it's CG, you could you could go into the more fantastical elements way better than the the '80s movie could. '90s. It was, or, sorry, '90s. Yeah. It's made in the mid '90s. It's not even like night. I'd get it if it was like 1990, but it was made in like the mid '90s. So everything that I was a kid just is the '80s to me. I don't know why. <laughs> so just um, answer me this, since you saw the Sonic movie. Sure. Does get back does, your seal? Does Tails make a little sneak? Uh, so, oh. Is there a tail scene? Yeah, there is. That's what I heard. I was like, really? So that's how they I, that's how they kind of tease a potential Sonic sequel. Is Tails comes in at the very end. Oh. And, he's okay. like, and they actually got this the uh, video game Tails. They got Kalino Shaughnessy. God damn it! Where's the bones? I need some help here. They got Kalino Shaughnessy back to do Tails. Uh, bring so. up the map really quick. I don't have a map. That's the problem. Oh, that's right. You haven't unlocked the tower yet. It's like, I know it's in like one of these corners somewhere. It's in the, it's in the southwest corner of the map. That's it. So it should be. Yeah, it, you're, you're, you're going the right direction. I should be somewhere. Just go a little bit further down, a little bit further south. Let's see. Now go, yeah, turn around south a yeah, little bit more. Yeah, because you're going north right this now. This way. Yeah. Yep. There you go. And I think it's covered in in sandstorm right now, so that might be it. Uh, the sandstorm off in the distance. That might. Be well, the problem is the there it is. Okay. There it is. I can see it. Because right. the sandstorm's also like kind of the just barrier for the world itself. Yep. There's the Leviathan bones. 
I'm the mood for you, Lazalpos. Go away. Woohoo! And then you got lost in the lost woods, and it didn't matter. <laughs> That's kind of actually one of those things I wish had been done in this map. What? Lost? It is, uh, yeah, having the Lost Woods connect, like, various areas of the map. That would have been great. Well, that would have gotten frustrating fast. And the Gerudo Great are. Skeleton. And this isn't the only one, guys. So, uh, you actually will find Leviathan Bones in four of the major areas, I think? Four or five. So let, let's do this thing. But n nonetheless, I am glad that you enjoyed Sonic. Like, I, the last thing I wanted, even though I'm, I was not motivated to go and see the movie, I did not want you guys to waste your money kind of thing. Uh, so at that point, if you guys got disappointed, I would feel bad. I'm <clears throat> that, that's, that's my gist. Yeah, so. But I love that. I, I don't. Can, can you think at any time of, of your life, Alex, where... Um, I know that the, the newspapers like to, to pit uh, movies against each other and as far as like grossing sales and everything like that. But have you, can you think of a time in your life where moviegoers were just as rabid as like football fans with this? Probably not. Not They're, really, no. I'm sure that um, at least they've never had a better time because of, you know, the internet and everything. So I think, probably, but still, it, it's weird. It's weird to have happen. All right. You know what? That's actually, no. Do you want to know what you need to do? Hold on. Nah, I can do it. I'll just do it this way. Come on. Cursor, line up. Thank you. There we are. And now we can never get that sword again. No, no, we can totally pick it up. But it, it just kind of blew my mind that people were basically butthurt that Birds of Prey didn't do as well as they thought it was going to do. And part of that was because you didn't bring in the comic audience because they knew what Birds of Prey was. And you it was very clear from early trailers that was not what you were looking to tell. Um, and so at that point, the market spoke and said, no, we're not going to go see your Birds of Prey movie. It's crap. And of course, that the, the reason that, that we don't like it is because we don't There's... like we don't like having female directors. No, it's because you guys weren't honoring the characters because DC movies aren't great. And nobody cares about Harley Quinn without Joker. Well, plenty of people care about Harley Quinn without Joker, but the comics, frankly, have done a better job than the movies have. Look, I, I like Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, but even I have to admit, like, they haven't Ugh. hit those prime moments no with way. Harley yet. Like, a lot of people want to see Margot Robbie, like, have the pivotal moment in the comics and break up with Joker. Like, literally break up with it. And I, I kind of agree. I think she'd be able to handle it. But you're not doing that. You're instead just wanting to do another like the, the way that I understand it, because I've only seen like one trailer of Birds of Prey. This is basically trying to once again do what Suicide Squad couldn't do, which was being like the Guardians of the Galaxy or being, you know, trying to be trying to be silly with it. And Birds of Prey is kind of a serious thing. So I don't know, like, granted, I could be totally off, but that that was kind of my take on the Birds of Prey situation. I just found it so funny that that. uh People got butt hurt, and therefore, um, if you saw Sonic over Birds of Prey, <laughs> which I did, <laughs> which you did, but it made sense for you to do it. Yeah, like we—that's one thing that nobody can criticize you on. You were a Sonic fan. Have you have you even read a DC comic? No. I, I was gonna say, like your connection to DC is like Batman the animated series, Superman the animated series, right? Yeah, and the live act and the live action. So at that movies. point, your interpret your interpretation of Harley Quinn is that you haven't seen in the comics that, like, I I'm pretty sure if I said, you know, Harley Quinn bro broke up with Joker, right? You'd be like, what? Because yeah, you don't know that. You're right. I don't. And therefore, like, tons of character development happened. Uh, to that character, and and she kind of defined herself by. Not being pro-feminist or nothing, but basically just being more self-reliant. 
I especially love the concept that, uh, if I remember correctly, because I haven't read all of this, I read the bro the breakup moment. Uh, but uh, oh, she went. Crap. She basically went to Poison Ivy for a while because they decided to bring that back from the animated series. Right. Where uh, Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn kind of become a crime fighting team. Right. Except they they had like the way I remember it is they had a, a kind of weird angle where. Harley starts to kind of fall in love with Poison Ivy, okay. like she did with Joker. And so after that, that's when Harley realizes, oh yeah, I have this problem. Maybe I had to work on my dependency issues. And we have a character arc from that. So you weren't interested in telling that. Even I'll admit, like, uh, Harley is an interesting character if you could pull it off right. I need to help me with this puzzle. I struggled on it last time I played this. Oh, you want, you want me to do it? Oh, sure. Okay, so it, it's not too bad. Okay. Uh, okay, I have to remind... Okay, it's the button that changes it. Cool. So now I can do this, and then... Oh! Okay, so now... Eh... Is it this button? Yeah, there we go. It's been a while since I played, people. Okay. So we do this. Oh. Yeah. Are you still not moving? Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. This again. Okay. I was trying to figure out where are you supposed to line it up. I I got it wrong, but part of that was because I should have grabbed the thing first. There we go. Oh yeah, I have to. The other one jar loose. Ah, dang it. I lost control. Okay. So, this again. One eternity later. I saw See, that I'm in my a own. genius. <laughs> I'm a genius. And that's I'm... what I was doing. No, you were kept. No, that's what I was doing. Like some I've given this to Andrea. <laughs> you, you just kept moving it to the right. That's just what I was doing. And you got to the backseat from me. I'm smart, aren't I? So am I! <laughs> <laughs> I should have known. Give it to Andrea. She's the one who likes no, the jigsaw puzzles. We were doing the exact same thing. I was just taking a different approach to it. <laughs> you were just failing with style. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Drac was trying to make more complicated. Make it more no, I wasn't overcomplicating it. I just knew what I wanted to do, and I knew how I wanted to get there. Oh. People will love that. Of course, of course they will. Spirit or gotta go. And if this was Dark Souls, I'd be falling off the off the bridge right now. <laughs> yeah, you would. Yes, I'd be getting mad. Ah, uh, speaking of, so uh, there, there's so, there's a little bit of a, a tiny elephant in the room that we need to we need to take care of because I've gotten a lot of people asking about it. Ooh, fairies. So me and Andrea got Drac Let's Play Live going. Yeah. <clears throat> is there a possibility of Drac and Shadow Live happening? I don't know. Is there? Uh, I mean, we're not against the idea, but time, time is time is usually the the biggest issue with that. So. I don't know, because like the way the reason the drag Let's Play Live works right now is that I've kind of accommodated the live streams for Andrea's schedule. And yours is kind of unpredictable. Yeah, um, I'm not against doing it, but the, here's the other problem that might happen. Um, I don't know if we can multi stream it because the multi streams will not allow multiple logins on them, I don't think so. Have That's kind of the issue. What? Have you ever tried it? 
Um, I tried doing it with Twitch, and it would not let me put on the Dracket Shadow login instead of mine. And I mean, we could just do use my Twitch lo like use my regular logins and logins and say Dracket Shadow Live, and then I just take the video and I put it up on Dracket Shadow. Right. You could do that. Yeah. Um, that way it's up so people can can appreciate it, but then I can go and edit it and when it's up on Dragon Shadow, I can take it off. Oh, jeez! All the sequins! What the crap is that haircut? It's a pompadour. <laughs> no, 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 the thing that's off the side of her head. Looks oh. like an ice cream cone. Hello there. I like the fact that you didn't answer. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. There's there's like a there's like an ice cream cone thing going off the the right of her head, her right. Oh. You mean like that little hair piece she has in? Uh no, 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 no. The ear other is? other side. Other side. Her right. Her right. So my left? Yes, my left. Our left. All yeah. Right. I don't know. It it just looks like an ice cream cone. <laughs> Where the crap do you get a hairstylist to do that? Ah, crap, mm -hmm. man. Huh? Yes, yes, you want to enhance my clothing. Come on. Huh? Enhance away. I don't I don't know if I want you touching my clothing. Ass! I still need Farash's horn. Sorry, you need you need another you need another try at that. Ass! <laughs> Ass! There you go. Very, very good. I can do now, the amber earrings mm -hmm. at least. Now now you can properly be AVGN. <laughs> I also love the fact that on the streams we've we've gotten in a little bit of trouble, Alex. Yeah. Well, because because we haven't <laughs> shown Andrea the angry video game nerd. Really? She's never seen a single nerd episode. I think maybe you've seen clips. I've seen some. Huh? But no. You've seen clips, but you haven't seen like full on episodes. Oh, we need mm -hmm. it. <laughs> She's gonna watch. Something. She's gonna give you gifts. Mm. I, I maybe. Uh, no, she'd eat. She'd eat us. Uh, maybe show her like the Majora's Mask episode he did, or. Did he do a Majora's Mask one? That must yeah. be a new season. Yeah, it's like this season or maybe last um, season. One the, the one two. I was actually thinking of doing was the either uh, Adventures of Link or um, actually we could do Zelda oh. CDI in that regard too. Or we could also do um, the Spielberg games. Mm -hmm. That probably might be something she'd be interested in. Yeah, that one's fun. Um, because here's the, the, this is the awesome part. Unless you're following the weird storylines, which some of them are like one-offs, mm -hmm. we we can do we can we can get you familiarized with the AVGN, and then we can make a bunch of AV, AVGN jokes. Because why not? <clears throat> you're lacking the materials. Yeah, I need some. I need to. <laughs> I spent so much time forming Nydra. I I didn't realize I needed Farosh now. Yeah, you need like all three. Ooh, there's don't a you? fairy. Can you catch it? If he would come a little lower. Fairy. Hey. Fairy. Fairies. Hey! Hey! Listen! Come here! Oh, oh I thought if I spoke in its na native language, then, <laughs> Got it. then we'd be able to get it. I will speak in its native language. Hey! Listen! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Oh my god. Dude, seriously! Shut up! Yes. So there they, so the, yeah, that, that's pretty much the, the sure. main the major events of the day. Holy crap. Oh. Are you a fairy? An angel? Oh, we finally found the wayward Barta. Are you here to guide my passage? Uh... Everything's going hazy. This might be the end. Snap out of it! <laughs> I hit the mic by there doing that. But, uh, so, so what he was trying to do was snap out of it. <laughs> uh, editor Drac, go ahead and add in a punch sound effect. Um, we want to make. Do this I not as, have as any hearty durians? And it's too hot. Where can I get some hearty durians? I need some hearty durians. I'm actually, I'm, I'm very close to commissioning Marta to do an animated form of editor Drac. <laughs> uh, just so that we can put it up and he just looks like a weird bad scientist because I, I want it to be like a fusion of how I look plus with broken Matt Hardy. So at that point, it's going to look like this weird ma uh, mad scientist Dirac and that's editor Dirac in our continuity. 
that that's how it goes right sure right right there you go and we keep him in the basement constantly so he just gets even more insane <laughs> 